Hey everyone, it's Kivox. Welcome to the video. I'm gonna show you my latest PvP Templar Healer setup, which is gonna blow your mind. Like, literally, it is gonna blow your mind. If you already click subscribe, thumbs up, and use the description for easy navigation. And let's just go into the video. The first things first, we will start off with the character stats and if we go there the first thing that we are gonna see is 30k maximum health 1975 magic recovery 23.8k maximum magic and 18k maximum stamina and uh, our spell damage is 2.3k and we have a 20k resistance each with a whooping 3137 crit resistance so all attribute obviously into the magicka and we are using orzorga red throat car but there's another food choices you can use clockwork you can use even uh, orzorga smoked bear etc and uh, we have the Atrona, and you should be vampire stage 4 unfortunately i don't know why i'm level 1 at this point but uh, you should be stage 4 and so that way you can get all the passives we are argonian and you can see my tail there's a little black purplish skin from the vcr by the way and uh, we are basically vampire about the gear the gear is quite impressive also in the video i will show you some gameplay at the end of this video and the first thing, the front bar, we have Darlok Bray Restoration Staff, and on the back bar we have Darlok Bray Dagger and the Shield. Um, the front bar is gonna be powered, increase healing done by 8%, so you would like to make it gold. And the back bar weapons too, I didn't gold out because I was kinda testing the build itself, and I can very much say, confirm, you can gold out this whole setup completely and you will never ever regret that. So what Darlok Prey gives is magic recovery and magic recovery. Reduced radius can be detected while sneaking by 2 meters, reduce the cost of sneak by 10%. And it says, while you are crouching and not bracing, you restore 639 magicka and stamina and heal for 846 health every second. Remember that this is just for a purple quality, so these will increase as you improve the quality of the set. So, I will come to that set later on again, but we have uh, in here one piece heavy Maravan in pen with Hakejo. Maravan basically, you don't need to. Uh, worry about the first benefit of the fifth fifth item but when you take damage and you have six or more negative effects you restore 2.1k health per negative effect and then you remove all of them and this will work every 15 seconds so the first fifth benefit it says when a negative effect is removed from you you restore 2.1k health and this will proc every one second so we are tempted but we are not gonna remove any bad effect from us and uh, because of the you know in pvp people runs plug break etc etc so you don't want to cleanse yourself but if the people around you cleansing and you are getting the benefit well you will get healed a little bit so um we have chest of marabal again in pen heavy and uh, with the Hakejo and we have one piece heavy divines uh, symphony of plates to get 4% healing done you can use Hakejo again on it and we have one heavy Marabalm uh, girdle waist sash whatever you want to call and this is in pen Hakejo again and we have hands Marabalm in pen Hakejo and heavy and we have Marabon Greaves, Heavy, Impan Hakejo. And we have Snow Treaders, Medium, Impan with Maximum Magic. So, um, 
Obviously, I don't need to explain what Mara does. And uh, Snow Traders is a mythic item that we are running. You are basically, if you are in the combat, you are immune to snares and immobilizations that can be cleansed, but you can't sprint. I mean, obviously, I can sprint right now, but uh, if I'm in the combat, I am unable to sprint. So, uh, this is the mythic we do run. And on the jewelry. We have Darlok Bray, uh, three jewels. You can run Robust, and all of them need to be magical recovery, by the way. And uh, you can do Robust because I like to have uh, magical recovery from the food and uh, maximum stamina from the jewelry. But you can do like vice versa. You can go with the max out, max magic, maximum stamina food. You can go swift even or you can go like uh, infuse to increase the glyph on it so something like that you can do it that way as well it is completely up to you like you need to try just uh, if you ask me just do it that way just try the robust and then you will see like uh, how it works for you so um, Darlok Bray basically while you are crouching and not blocking, brace, bracing basically, if you are not blocking, you can see it, I'm not getting over heals now. But if I stop blocking, I'm gonna get heal and the magicka too. So if I basically get rid of my magicka that way, uh, let's do it that way actually, so wait, completely run out the magicka. Alright, now you can see how fast I'm getting Magicka, like 12, 13k, 14k, 16k, 17k, 20k, you can see the recovery is there, like this is really crazy, and you may think, okay, how you are gonna play with the Darlok Bray in the PvP? Well, that's the good question, because uh, about my testings, what my testing says, if you are a healer and if you are not using any skill that targets the enemy including light attack because let's say if you are here and if you do light attack to the enemy by the way like you can see it broke the crouch okay like I'm detected in the crouch if I do light attack wait if I do light attack, it breaks the crush. So in order for this to not to break it, all right, you are not gonna do light attacks, like literally. Um, basically, you can crouch and use the entropy, okay? But you cannot light or heavy attack. So um, for this reason, we are using symbiosis on the background. So that way you can heal the people. Uh, with the symbiosis and the Marabalm basically it does what it says you get crit resistance armor healing taken and uh, you just cleanse yourself and you get a huge amount of healing from it so this is making you way more tanky and you are already a healer you have a crazy heals etc etc and then Marabalm healing you on the other hand is like a uh, beautiful exquisite thing it is beautiful trust me and uh, this is the gear I'm using uh, basically uh, tri-stat portions you can run baby sugar sugar school as well and that's it um, there is no alternate mythic you're gonna run snow traders you may not be able to run but you are gonna run snow traders there is no escape from it every fight no one running to anywhere anyways so just don't chase people in the pvp that, that's what I, I can say about the skills we have on the front bar our restoration staff obviously we have illustrious healing it's just an aoe crazy healing and are radiating region for healing people heal over time and up to three nearby allies 
Blessing of Restoration just giving them physical and spell resistances, giving you giving them crazy heal and a big AoE. You can cover up very big AoE area with the Blessing of Restoration Morph. You can use Combat Prayer too if you like, but you are not gonna uh, give that much of a heal and the benefits of what Blessing of Restoration skill gives. And there is a one uh, free spot, Charging Maneuver. You can get 45% speed while you are crouching, so look at this speed. Are you looking so you can see it like this is very, very, very fast I am. And the people around you is gonna get speed as well. So this is the flex spot. Instead of this, you can... I don't know what you can do actually, because... Like you can put orb maybe, you can put lingering flare to get 10% major protection. You know, there's just choices. This is just a flex spot. Just pick a skill that doesn't break the hidden crouching, okay? As I said, the skill that hits to the enemy breaks the crouch. So let's say, okay, if we are in the crouch and you are getting stunned like a dizzying swing or like a, a ferocious leap from the Dragon Knight ulti, etc. You just flying away. Does it break the crouch? No, it doesn't. So it does not break the crouch. Uh, you can just break the CC and then just keep playing again. For this reason, that Darlok Bray is a beast. Like, okay, so basically, uh, charging maneuver is a flex spot. You can put altar, you can put ring of preservation, you can put immobile if you need, if you want, but it doesn't really uh, not need it in my opinion. And the fifth skill is a ritual of rebirth. It costs a lot and it heals crazy as well, but it is gonna cost you a lot. So this is how it is. This is gonna heal uh, AoE heal, basically, like a AoE morph of the Breath of Life. On the front bar we also have a life giver, you can use the light champion to give a major force, but the life giver is just more protective, like giving you crazy heal and your teammates around you 28 meter radius and uh, it costs 123 ultimate, this is like literally nothing. And you cost regen, blessing of protection and steadfast ward as well. On the back bar we have degeneration. You get a weapon and spell damage basically to increase your healing skills. And we have a channeled focus to get um, resistance and uh, magical recovery and a little bit healing. We have living dark, this is the best skill that you can get. Uh, when you get a direct damage, it is gonna heal you crazy and it will reduce the enemy's speed by 40%. And we have Symbiosis. I'm sorry, you need to farm Psijic for that setup. Like, there is no other way. You need Symbiosis. Otherwise, you cannot play with the Darlok Bray. Like, okay. Because Symbiosis, I just want to actually show you guys all right here for example so yeah when you light attack this is what symbiosis does it gives a heal you can heavy attack and keep continuous healing that's why so only thing that you need to do is just like that activate symbiosis and you can go front bar heal back bar heal your light and heavy attacks is gonna heal the people so this is how it works um, and the final skill it's under the dead you gonna heal 9.3k health and uh, if you heal anyone who is below 75% health it will restore 18% of the ability cost every 2 seconds over 6 seconds as magicka if you are really in the trouble you are gonna bring the living dark on you and I just spam the breath uh, under the dead you get magicka back 
and uh, obviously you are gonna get uh, crazy healing from it you don't need to use this one on the people you are gonna use this one on the people cuz that skill you can say it is going to heal someone else outside of my range as well so uh, I press it it healed that trader guy there it will always heal someone outside so even if your teammate is away that the person you are playing you can basically uh, heal him so you don't need to go back and heal that way because it is going to cost you too much and we have temporal guard on the back bar uh, while slaughtered you get minor protection reducing your damage taken by 5% and also you can use it just to go back in time if you are like getting to too much damage and if it is within 4 seconds uh, you can go all the way back 4 seconds ago and this is very good and those are the skills basically you need restoration passives you need one and a shield passives you need light medium and heavy passives you need vampire like where is it uh, this one on that and uh, reduce the cost of sprints like this that way you can actually run while in the crouch so you don't need to be hidden in the fight and you are not gonna be hidden in the fight while you are fighting with the people but uh this is gonna like give you speed and uh, you don't need to worry about the thing on the middle of the screen it can be say detected etc etc you will see in the gameplay that i'm gonna show you at the end of this video anyways so you need Sigic, you need Anonted, Assault, Sport and Argonian and uh, Alchemy Medical Use and those are the skills like just get everything basically the, the things that you need just read them what it says and if they are useful and you should just basically get it now the most important thing is the champion points the green you can do what you like and on the blue one we do have suiting tide increase your healing done by 10 percent for aoe heals and the second one increase your healing done by 10 percent for single target heals as well and uh, we do have in here saving that if we go inside you can see ironclad reduce your damage taken by 6% for direct damage attacks from direct damage attacks and we have resilience 660 crit resistance this is very good and this is a uh, like there's no alternates I tried swift renewal I tried rejuvenator I tried like from the brink or enlivening overflow I tried those that doesn't quite work well I will say on the red one we have armor 1.7k we have bounteous vitality 1400 uh, maximum health and in here we have sustained by suffering for more recovery 150 health magic and stem recovery if you think this is a flex spot you can remove sustained by suffering and instead go in here and uh wait where is it down sorry and you can use celerity it is gonna give you 10 percent movement speed but you just can sacrifice 150 recovery for it so this is also quite good if you are not running if you are not gonna run charging maneuver you can remove sustained by suffering and use celerity instead and the most important cp is in here is the pain's refuge refuge Reduce your damage taken by 2% for every 2 negative effects active on you up to a maximum of 20%. You may say, okay, we are using Mara's Balm. Yeah, okay, we are using Mara Balm. But the good thing is that if you are getting too much negative effect on you, you reduce your taken damage. Okay, and if you get very, very too much, too many dots on yourself, 
the Maraval gonna clear and if you get it again in the 15 seconds like 10 damage over time for example on yourself or 20 you are gonna get 10% less damage so like this is a very good champion point so about that what the hell was that voice there's a ghost pirate ship in the horizon what that is I believe this is it I explained everything like literally that you need to know about the setup so now I will leave you with some gameplay with Dragox maybe you heard him he's also on uh, place PS5 in EU and uh, take your first off guys consider subscribing it's for free and uh, give a thumbs up and comment below if you have any question just don't hesitate to ask I'm reading all of it one by one and I'm trying my best to answer them all and you can use uh, description again for useful links and you can use the thanks button to support my channel okay I will leave you now with the gameplay video take care of yourself guys have fun